Hey, you did a lot in the Indies, including the likes of Ring of Honor, but you were focused on the IWC. What did wrestling in Pittsburgh mean to you? Wrestling in Pittsburgh will always have a special place in my heart because they were the first crew that really gave me the opportunity to, to enter the business. Um, we all heard the, the war stories of the guys in generations past who had to find a secret way into the ba- into the business and, and be invited in through some back tunnel deal. Uh, I was a freshman in high school, and my dad was a firefighter, uh, a fire chief in a town called West Newton, not too far outside of Pittsburgh. And for their fundraiser every year, he would bring in a local independent organization uh, to, to raise money for the fire station. It was just, you know, the same. Some places do gun bashes or spaghetti dinners or whatever. My dad opted to do pro wrestling. Uh, so he had an in with a local promoter. And the company's called PWX. They still sort of exist. Kurt, I believe you 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 spent a cup of coffee there. Yes, I did. I actually trained there when I started. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think I was shortly, I came along not too long after you had left because okay. the 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 rumors were all swirling. Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Well, this is where Kurt was. This is where I want to be. Um, so so they they let me start training at 14. And wow. that, that ate up my entire high school life, man. I missed Talk my senior prom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No kidding. I don't know how legal it was, but it was yeah. it was definitely uh something that we we made arrangements for. And I remember I trained at the old Eastland Mall. Um I, I did too, yeah. Right. Which as you yeah. know, Kurt, there was no air conditioning in the summer, there was no heat no, in the winter. Horrible, it was absolutely terrible. And I, I mean, talk about paying your dues. If you didn't love this, there's no way any sane human was gonna put up with those conditions. But uh yeah, and then I just started branching out. And I think I was guilty the same as anybody who's on the independence, especially very early, uh, where you don't realize how big the world is and how much there is to learn and how much opportunity is out there, but you have to break free from, from your, your home base. Um, I, I, you know, I thought I was the best guy in Pittsburgh. Well, then I'd go to Philadelphia and realize there were 10 guys on every show that I could learn from. And then I'd go to Cleveland. And I'd meet somebody who was in WWE that I'd never encountered before. And I'd sit and pick their brains and truly just kind of became a student of the game and realized no matter where I went, there was something that somebody could teach me. And speaking, no matter where you went, you also then travel to England a lot as well, right? So what are some of your favorite me- uh, memories of that wrestling uh, scene and, and wrestling overseas? Well, a lot, of, a lot of my favorite memories from those trips over to England, uh, I think I should probably safe for off the air lest i you know get get anybody into trouble we we had a really good time over there uh the the, the parties were were epic and i will never forget them but that was really my first opportunity uh save for a few appearances with a ring of honor here and there or some of the larger independents in philadelphia uh that was really my chance to show a whole new audience who i was and, and the first few times i went over there people had no clue who i was there was a lot of tna guys on the show a lot of big name american independents but then there was this random tattooed guy who had a big mouth and uh i I think i i had to earn it was really cool because i didn't have the luxury of being uh a star when i arrived there i kind of had to earn it and i was lucky enough to brush up against guys you know like abyss and uh aj styles and two cold scorpio and some real heavy hitters in the game at the time but being able to to interact with them and learn from them christopher daniels is another guy who stands out to me they were always willing to help. I was kind of like, every, I, I felt like everybody's little brother. I was the young guy that came on my first big tour and I was still trying to mind my manners and, and not get myself into any trouble. But uh, everybody was so, so happy to help and just pass on any knowledge they had. And I, I will forever be grateful for those trips to England, man. I, I learned so much over there. 